Okay, so we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, we have a bunch of rocks in front of us here. If you take a look, you can see all different kinds. So a lot of these are just completely random. Some of them are quartz, quartz. Some of them are carbonate. You have limestone, limey tough. You have carbonate minerals, azurite, malachite. And what we want to do today is just show you guys a basic field technique for determining different rock types. So what I have here, this is something every prospector should have. This is hydrochloric acid. So certain rocks react to this. And that's what we're going to do today, just basically test which ones are which. And uh, we might get a little bit of sulfides in there. You have molybdenite here, a little bit of calcopyrite in there. This one has a tiny bit of free male gold. You got your uh, azurite malachite, of course, calcopyrite. So we're basically just going to test a mess of reactions here and uh, see what happens. Another thing we wanted to quickly test too while we're doing this, this is actually vinegar. So it's also an acid, way, way less uh, strong than obviously hydrochloric acid. All right, so this is the first sample. So from what I can tell, absolutely no reaction. Again, no reaction. Okay, so if you take a look, you can see bubbling and fizzing. Let's try and get a better look at that. See right there? So obviously you have a carbonate mineral here. To me, this looks a lot like uh, calcite. So this one has a little bit of calcopyrite on it. I'll try and steer clear from that. So, no reaction. This one should be interesting. So this was in contact with limestone, but I'm still not seeing any kind of reaction there. So here you have a tough Volcanic tuff, you have a little bit of uh, calcopyrite here, a little bit of staining there from your carbonate minerals. Let's see in a couple spots what it does. Nothing there. Ok, 
Okay, so there's a, a weak reaction right there as it touched your malachite staining. Try it again right here. Again, another weak reaction there. Okay, another one here. So there you have more calcopyrite. Here, you have a white mineral here. Obviously not a carbonate mineral. And I just wanted to test the uh, hose drop here. No reaction. Okay, here you have some staining. Some malachite, a little bit of azurite. Weak reaction there. Again, more here, similar. We'll test this as well. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see. A little bit of bubbling. See all that effervescence down there. A couple more of those similar. Got some more sulfides on there. Definitely a little reaction there. Here you got your azurite. And again, definitely a reaction there. As they are carbonate minerals. Okay, look at the reaction to that. Definitely got calcite there. Calcite generally reacts violently with your acid. No reaction, not a carbonate mineral. No reaction. Nothing. A couple of pieces here. Gold bearing rock. I already know what this is, but let's just uh, make sure. Yep. No carbonate mineral. This is quartz. Gold bearing quartz, too. Two rocks here. These were from separate grab samples. They look very similar, so. Let's see if they're both the same. So you have a very, very weak reaction there. Same with there. So here you have mostly quartz. Okay, so here you have molybdenite and then your gang material. I know what it is, but we'll test to make sure. OK, 
Okay, so you have a little bit of a reaction there. So this is uh, telling me that this is a quartz carbonate and you're heavy on the quartz. There is a reaction, but it's not insane. Now let's see what the sulfides do. Nothing. So another thing you got to remember is different carbonate minerals, they'll have different reactions. Uh, aragonite, you have a strong reaction. Azurite, you have a reaction that's about normal, uh, nothing crazy. Calcite, very strong. Dolomite, you have a weak reaction. Uh, manganesite, very weak. Malachite is a normal reaction. Uh, Rhodochrostite is another one. Uh, that's also weak. Um, there's other ones like witherite, siderite. Um, those are generally weak as well. So there's various reactions. But to determine carbonate minerals, if you have a reaction at all, that is a good sign. So now we want to just uh, do a test. This is just for fun. We want to see if you're regular household vinegar will cause these pieces of calcite and quartz carbonate and malachite nazarite to have any kind of reaction so not seeing anything there possibly just not strong enough of an acid Nothing there. And the myth is busted. Household vinegar does not work. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. A couple of safety things. Always wear safety glasses when you're dealing with acid, especially hydrochloric acid. Gloves. Always do it in a ventilated area. Like so, out in the wilderness on a windy day. If you guys want to see uh, more videos like this, let me know in the comments. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.